I was a little bit of a late bloomer. I didn't really have formal training until I was 17. Um, and uh, honestly, I discovered Mozart at the same time as I discovered Varese. I had a real appetite to want to play music and learn about music, but I was not coming from that culture. And uh, so I think I embraced contemporary music and it was a revelation for me. It was like, oh, that is it, you know. And from then on, the desire to compose music was there, but it was not a choice. It was felt a little bit like a curse for a while. Like, oh, I don't want to be a composer. I'm going to be a flutist. I'm not going to do this. It's crazy. So I tried to not be a composer a few times until I said, okay, enough already. Let's just do this and find a way to make a living. <laughs> while being a composer. You know, I've not been doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, when you're a composer, you're supposed to have to find your voice and then do this for the rest of your life so people know what you are and who you are. And I don't know if it's because I started music late, but um, I uh, have done a lot of chamber music. I've done a lot of orchestral music. I'm also a conductor and an orchestrator. In the last 15 years, I've started to uh, do more electronics, and now I also integrate video in my works and multimedia, and I find that it's very powerful to use images because it can bring an immediacy to the audience and have a wider dialogue than abstract music. And uh, so I'm actually, I'm always throwing off people, oh, no, no, we can't give you grants for this multimedia piece. You're an orchestra composer. I'm like, uh, maybe I'm both. I don't know. <laughs> in 1995, I was looking for a non-traditional book, a non-traditional uh, story to write an opera. And the reason for that is that I like to work in a non-linear way with structure. At the time, I had met a, a wonderful director and voice coach voice extended and also opera coach uh, Richard Armstrong who's based in New York. Uh, Richard Armstrong was uh, also one of the f founders for the Roy Hall Theater in London which was kind of an extreme uh, theater and uh, so Richard proposed, he said to me, you should check out this book that came out just a few years ago by Eduardo Galliano whom I knew of called The Book of Embraces. And it happens that Eduardo Galliano was also a friend of Richard. Uh, he had stayed with him in Uruguay. So I read this book and I was just blown away. Eduardo Galliano was born in 1940 and he is a caricaturist, he draws. He's a journalist, he was a political activist and he's also a poet and a writer. And The Book of Embraces captures all these aspects of his personalities and the book of embraces is a, a collections of short stories some of them are two lines others are 25 lines that's about the maximum and that was exactly the kind of structure that made sense to me and i think that this is what attracts me in a non-linear narrative is the fact that i am not going to tell you what's going to, what's important. I'm not going to tell you how you should feel and I'm not going to tell you something that that is definite. I expect you as a listener to pay attention and to be open to for the ride. 